Hello everybody. Before we start this course, it's important that you review your homework answers with your course administrator. If you haven't yet received an answer, please wait before starting this next section. When we make a cold call to somebody, it's important to understand that the experience of the person answering the phone is very different to the person making the call. You see, the primary difference is that you know that you are making the call they had no idea that their phone was going to ring. And as a result, there is going to be a sense of fear. Now, a great way to think about fear is the acronym F-E-A-R, standing for false evidence appearing real. In other words, much of fear is imaginary. And so when a person receives a cold call, their first response is fear. It's an unrecognized number. So they might ask, is this a debt collector? How did they get my number? What do they want for me? Why are they calling me now? It's important, therefore, that we need to move across the stages from fear to curiosity and then to trust in order to elicit the correct emotive response from the person that we're speaking with. Now, according to Connect and Cell, that plays millions and millions of calls every year, they share that you've got about seven seconds to move out of this phase of fear. And the best way to do it is one, by introducing yourself. So, hi, my name's David. Thanks for taking my call. Two, obviously asking for that permission, which will include in that introduction. I know you're not expecting my call, or do you perhaps have 30 seconds for me to explain what I called? The tone is also extremely important, okay, which we'll talk about very shortly. And the reason for reaching out, asking for permission to speak.